Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to any new viewers. I am Simone, the Moon Goddess. So this is your reading for the full moon in Scorpio. Okay, so this is for the 18th up to the 24th. Scorpio full moon is going to be a big one. Scorpio is all about rebirth, transformation. Okay, it's about digging deep. Digging deep in order to elevate yourself to a whole other level, you know. And the only way to do that is to face the dark aspects of ourselves. I feel like these videos, this Scorpio full moon energy is exactly the type of energy that came up for the shadow series of videos I did like two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, it should be <clears throat> interesting to see how this Scorpio full moon plays out, especially with Taurus sun. Um, definitely digging deep with this one, okay? So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Check your other signs if you know them. Check the other videos. Anybody interested in a personal reading, you can contact me via the details in my description box. Follow me on Instagram, The Moon Goddess Tarot. Um, so let's see what's going on with Leo. Okay. Hope that you guys are well. I hope that you're all right taking those breaths surrendering to all the chaos just flowing okay so let's see okay what are the messages you want to share with leo for this full moon what's the messages you want to share with leo for this full moon in scorpio that's the energy okay so this came up for cancer at zagar um, Eight of Cups. Okay, Leo, you are looking to walk away from something. And based on the readings that I've done for you guys recently, uh, the love reading, the shadow reading, they both, and the love reading for me actually, spoke about letting go, surrendering, surrendering to everything that's happening. You have Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Absolutely beautiful. So definitely you are in the flow of things. Know that wherever you are, you are, it's, it's like, it's destiny really where you are. Um, and you're at the top of the wheel. The wheel is spinning in your favor. So you might find that this walking away will actually flow a lot easier than you might be thinking that it will. Okay. Because, because you're flowing with the flow of life. It means it's like you're not swimming upstream. So it means that this situation that you're walking away from will be easier to deal with. Because it's, it's like it's um, all the pieces of the puzzle just easily flow together. Under that Wheel of Fortune was Two of Pentacles. Okay, so you're weighing things, considering, like, if I walk away, where will it take me? Where will I end up? But you know that things have to change. you got Queen of Swords here as well. You know that something has to change within yourself. It's like this... No more like spinning wheels, just spinning wheels ain't really going anywhere. It's like Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, okay, and Mars, it's associated with Pluto and Mars. And Pluto energy is about that rebirth, that digging deep to bring up a lot of hidden aspects of yourself, self-limiting beliefs, patterns, um, addictions, um, traumas. All of that is going to come up, especially Pluto's in retrograde. Okay, so all that's going to be coming up. You're going to be feeling lonely. You're going to be feeling depressed, anxious, worried, all of these feelings. But with this Wheel of Fortune showing here is like, okay, it'll be an easier trans transition. Okay, let's see where you are yourself, where you are in your, yourself, your divine feminine, your divine masculine energies. Okay, so Queen of Swords, she's here. Okay, so she is um very clear mind. She's I don't think she's as as straight across as the King of Swords, where it's like not really fo focus. You're you're functioning from um, logic, you know and clear thoughts and i feel like queen of swords she injects some emotion in there as well 
because she's a queen because she's been through so much already she knows she knows how to balance her emotions with her practicality and her logic okay she knows where she's going she knows speak little observe you know she separates all the bs and gets to the to the, to the nitty-gritty of the matter okay so the bottom of the deck for you is four of cups all right so balancing energies you know you clear out what you don't need in your thought process in your life the way how you live whatever you're walking away from okay and you're moving towards something that feels a lot more balanced a lot more natural to you and it's soothing you as well okay let's see let's see what's at the top seven of swords here at the top okay so trust the process trust the process leo i know that it's like your readings lately have been there's a lot of chaos and confusion going on for leo um heartache heartbreak possibly grief anxiety and i feel like you are being this wheel is all of everything that you're experiencing is taking you to a level you probably can't even imagine Let's see what's happening with your reflections, your mirrors, you know, people around you or situations around you. Okay, what's going on for Leo and their, their mirrors? Okay. So you have five of cups reversed. Okay. And what's beautiful about this five of cups, it says disappointment on it. Five of cups is like you're so caught up in what you've lost. You don't see the gift behind it. But, and I think this came up in your love or your shadow reading, one of your love readings. But this five of cups reverse is like you are now seeing the light. You're now seeing that actually you're being swept up into something new and beautiful. And a door, a doorway is opening. It's like a portal taking you to another level. So I feel like there are five of cups. If you, um, five of cups is when you were worried about what you've lost and you couldn't move forward. But now you realize, okay, I lost three cups, but I still have two. You know, let me walk towards those two, those two cups. You know, and it's a divine guided, guided movement, okay? So when I say this five of cups reverse, it's like, this is beautiful. Because it means that you are on the path of healing. At the bottom of the deck is seven of cups reversed. This has come out a few times. Um, this is like my spirituality card. This is like seven of cups. I feel it's about your spiritual gifts, tapping into your spiritual gifts. Um, upright is like you're being so consumed by all of the different shiny cups Ooh, let me get a bit of this Ooh, let me get a bit of this Ooh, ooh, you know reverse is like it's a more it's a more focused energy it's a more focused emotional energy and i feel too that this is about you it's about healing it's about you tapping into that spiritual aspect i feel like this full moon in scorpio is going to lead people to a lot of healing mind body soul people are going to realize that they have they need to tap into their inner world in order for their outer world to to be blissful and happy as they want and healthy healthy is important you know um queen of cups here at the bottom of the deck as well so i feel like this is really healing energies whatever is happening where you are letting go of the disappointment, where you are, yeah, letting go of the disappointment, focus, you're not caught up in the illusions of whatever situation it is you're walking away from. Um, and this is your reflection. I don't know if this is a person who's coming to you with this kind of energy, that's assisting you in your healing um, or if that's what you're projecting outwards to others, that you are on the road to healing. Um, and tapping into your spirituality, your meditation, maybe. Okay, let's clarify some cards here. Curious what's at the top. Okay. The top of the deck was oppression. Reversed. So definitely letting go of some of the weight, I feel. 
which is beautiful, yo. Okay, let's clarify some some cards. You got the moon here at the bottom of the deck. I haven't even shuffled yet. Let's clarify some cards here for you. Okay, what messages you want to share with Leo <clears throat> for this full moon is Scorpio. What's the messages you want to share with Leo? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? I feel like that's your divine masculine energy, Scorpio. Sorry, Leo. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay. Here we go. So you have justice. Okay. Justice. Balance. And this justice card is associated with external balance. So... And justice is a card associated with Libra. So you have Queen of Swords here for your parts of yourself. Okay. Swords is masculine energy. Swords is Libra, uh, Aquarius, Gemini energy here. And then enters Libra, which is about balance, harmony, law of attraction, knowing that however, wherever your thoughts go, energy flows. Okay. And wherever your thoughts go, you are creating. All right, so know that whatever you're experiencing as well is like it's balanced and it's fair, it's just, even if it might not feel that way. But I feel like you know that it's just because Wheel of Fortune is here, okay? So I feel like right now, y'all feel you're all in this stage of oh, okay, I see why that happened now. I feel like it's that type of vibe. Or, okay, okay, this is making sense to me. I, I now see where I need to go. I feel like that's what's happening with you. Um, the bottom of the deck is Eight of Wands. So I feel like communication, and I feel like that communication is coming from your higher self. You know, here's your higher self. Queen of Swords. Again, Queen of Swords again. And she's like, go this way, child. This is the way to go. I feel like that's what it's saying. Um, okay, why is the four of cups here for for can't for Leo? I don't know who I'm calling cards for. Okay, three, um, nice and clear. Why is the four of cups here for Leo? I feel like this is your divine feminine energies now. Where is what's the four of cups here? Why is it here for Leo? Okay, so you have six of pentacles. Okay. So it's the sense of giving a, a, a good balance between giving and taking and receiving. Because you have this four, you got four of cups here, which is your emotional balance. I feel like this is your divine feminine energies, right? So, and pentacles is earth, which is feminine energy as well. So it's like pouring into your own cup you know, taking care of yourself, healing what needs to be healed, receiving blessings from the universe as well. Um, knowing that you're not in this by yourself. And you know what? I feel like this six of pentacles too, like, re like when I said receiving the, bless the blessings from the universe. That's exactly what the Wheel of Fortune is, a gift. Because it's like, it's good luck, it's, it's kismic serendipity. You might find, like I was saying, that things just flow so much easier for you in this um, situation. So you have your Four of Cups, you have your Six of Pentacles, all feminine energies. Um, don't miss out on what's being offered to you, okay, from the universe, the healing that's been, that's been handed to you, that's been... Um, yeah offered to you here it might feel like a raw deal but it's actually a beautiful thing okay let's see why the eight of cups is here for you why is the eight of cups here for Ooh, leo so you have your five of swords okay so the five of swords traditionally is about conflict um debate a fight a falling out a disagreement of some sort could be you even having this conflict within yourself you going back and forth between making these serious changes you know pulling back from 
um, maybe spending too much money or going out too much or pretending, you know, putting on a face to others or whatever it is, whatever shadow aspect it is that you're working on, this Eight of Cups. Here comes this Five of Swords. And this has come up a, a few times in these readings, this series of readings. And I feel it's saying that be wary, be mindful that the more you try to elevate yourself, the more you try to heal yourself and like leave a lot of um, situations and low vibrational energies, low vibrational situations and people and relationships and jobs and all these different things. The more you try to elevate yourself, the more you will have people trying to pull you back. Okay, trying to pull you back down. Okay, so be mindful of that. Here's the lovers, bottom of the deck, you know. This is Gemini energy, so this somebody could be showing you one face, you know, and behind your back plotting for you, like a lion, like watching him, you know. So be mindful of that, that when you walk away from a situation, somebody might be trying to pull you back down. And you have the lovers here. So I feel like this is your divine masculine and, and divine feminine energies flowing, looking at each other, observing, you know. Your higher self looking down at you. Like, ah, oh, my child. The lovers can also be about choice. Okay, which way are you going to go? You're going to move forward into growth. You got king of swords at the top. Here. Okay, move forward into growth. Into strength or fall back. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? Why is the Wheel of Fortune? Fortune here for Leo. Okay, Queen of Wands. Okay, so this Leo, this is your opportunity to create the life that you want. This is the opportunity for you to also be truthful in who you are and what you want. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but here you have this beautiful energy opportunities it's like a portal taking you from point a to b quick fast okay and here is the queen of wands who is resourceful who is passionate who is motivated who is capable of making magic happen creating things you know creating making um things manifest into the physical you know, she is dynamic. She's a goddess. She this is this could be male energy as well. This is this is not just Leo women, okay? This is goddess god energy. Okay, this is like I said, creating, being resourceful, being motivated, you know, using your energies to get your way through your beauty, your strength. At the bottom is um the sun. Which is which is your ruler. So walk towards the sun. Remember who you are, Leo. Okay? Remember who you are. Let's see what's at the top. Two of pentacles at the top. So find that balance within your physical life. Okay. Let's see. Why is the five of cups here for Leo? Why is the five of cups here? For this mirror energy okay nine of pentacles this has shown up a few times as well like five of cups you are realizing like i was saying that you thought you lost three cups but you still have two or you focus on what you've lost but you still there's so much more there's still this gift you know life is a gift everything is a gift there's no failures really it just lessons so here's this nine of pentacles you know, leading you towards independence, leading to you towards a beautiful existence that you want, the beautiful existence you want. There's still so much here. This could be um, Earth energy, Leo, uh, sorry, a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy. Um, maybe that helps bring you out of your funk. You know, somebody who embraces life, who enjoys a good life. It could be a Taurus. This could be Taurus season, period. This could just be the Taurus sun. And three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it's um, focused, directed energies, skillful energies, 
this person might be somebody that you can rely on to talk to you know they understand life maybe an advisor a mentor a counselor this type of energy has been coming out strong and they feel like people a lot more people are stepping out and connecting you know getting mental health um help counseling talking to friends reaching out somebody who's skilled in these kind of matters what's the seven of cups here for leo okay oh it's of wands Okay, so you know, I was saying that I feel like this seven of cups is you tapping into your spirituality um, or connecting to somebody rather, because this is your mirror, this is your reflection. So tapping into somebody, maybe somebody who's on the same path as you, who's been through the same kind of issues as you, who's come out on the other side, who's now able to like receive, re reap all the benefits and they're showing you, come with me. I can show you that there's life after this. There's life after this, Ace of Wands. Okay, if you tap into your higher self, if you connect to your ancestors, if you um, pay attention to the synchronicities and the numbers and your dreams and all these different things, there's life after this, you know. Use the energies to your benefit. You're being placed in a beautiful position with this Wheel of Fortune. So tap into the Queen of Wands energy and use that to push you to higher levels. Okay. Is there any word of advice to Leo? Let's say go through this full moon. What's the word of advice to Leo? Okay. Seven of Cups. Here again. This time um, upright. So here's your Seven of Cups. Okay. This card with all the cups, all the shiny cups. You're now focused on, on the cup, focused on your healing, bringing new life in to the situation. Okay, so there's that. And your word of advice here again is seven of cups. Be mindful of the fact that there's so many illusions in life. Okay, and you need to take the time to determine who you are, to know and trust and at accept who you are the light the dark the taboo the parts you can't stand to look at all of that is you in its perfection is how you use your energies to keep pushing yourself forward okay bottom of the deck is eight of pentacles exactly that keep doing the work don't lose sight don't get caught up in all the frills don't get caught up in people coming to you saying, oh, I haven't seen you in such a long time. Come up with us when really and truly, you know that you need to be in bed early because you got a yoga class in the morning or something to that effect. You know what I mean? Like, don't get caught up in the shininess, the pretty, all that glitters is not gold. Stay grounded and stay focused on building yourself. Okay? Keep pushing forward. Okay, I feel like that's your message, Leo. Queen of Cups, sorry, Queen of Pentacles is here. Under that, um, Eight of Pentacles. The Good Life, I feel like this is very much also this Nine of Pentacles energy. Sorry, I got cards flying everywhere. Yeah, this Nine of Pentacles energy, this independence, this self-sufficiency. And here's the Queen of Pentacles here. So your new life, you might not be able to like even imagine it. My mind is saying to pull this out. I don't know why. Um, but it's like where you are headed is so different from where you started. That's where you started first card. Okay, this is the last card. Okay, you see those two energies. Okay, one oracle. This message for Leo for this full moon is Scorpio. This is their final message for Leo. Okay, flexible. Okay, 
flexible so it's about flowing okay it's about flowing flowing with the energies not for you is at the bottom so you know what that message is about first thing you thought of not for you um but being flexible is like like the book would tell you in a storm trees bend and go with the wind okay structures come crashing down because they're so rigid and solid rigid and solid so it's reminding you maintain flexibility life is a series of up and down ups and downs just like this wheel of fortune is always turning the wheel is always turning at some point you're at the top of it right now things are beautiful you're aligned at some point you will be at the bottom and then you'll be at the top and then you'll be at the bottom that's just the way it is it's a constant flow so be flexible okay what's your message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for this full moon, 18th to the 24th of May. What's your message for Leo? Okay, the answers you need are coming. Okay, full moon in Gemini. Okay, so Gemini is communication. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Um, things might not make sense to you right now. As you walk away and you're in the dark. But know that the wheel is turning in your favor and know that this is at the end of your journey. Okay? So the answers you, you, you need are coming. You're very close to achieving your goal is at the bottom of the deck. Um, and look at the bigger picture from the top. Okay? Let's see. Emotions are running high. Definitely, but that's understandable. It's a full moon, full moon energies, and full moon in Scorpio. So, yeah, sorry, wrong one. Full moon in Gemini. Let me just read. So, it says, have an important conversation, but stay calm. Okay, it says, don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off the situation and just move on, and job applications have good prospects. They have a mixed bag with the messages, but, you know, whatever resonates with you. So, Leo, that's your message for this full moon in Scorpio. I hope the messages have resonated, helped you in some way. Um, yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what's going on with you, okay? So, until next video, Leo, big love. Take care. Bye-bye.